Eloquent Systems, this is Merv Richter speaking. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Roya. I wonder if you can answer my questions about the Eloquent Museum software. I found it on the internet. Sure, I can give you a quick overview of the system. What would you like to know? First of all, I'm really curious to know about mobile friendly. What do you mean by that? Well, it means that you can search the database with your mobile device from anywhere at any time. The software is responsive to the size of the device, so the screens adjust so they're easy to read on any mobile device, as well as, well as on any desktop browser. Uh, could you explain about the virtual museum? Uh, yes, that simply means uh, that the public can see digital pictures of your historical artifacts online. Do I have to take pictures of everything? No, no, just start with what you have and with the more interesting items that you want to feature. But you catalog all your artifacts and include the, loca the storage location for all the physical items so that they're easy to find, easy to manage. Is Eloquent a complete collections management package with all the modules? Uh, yes, uh, please scroll down to the module section on this uh, form, on this web form. Oh, it seems they are all here. Do I have to buy them all? No, no, they're optional. You just pay for what you need to get started. You may also get a discount if you don't have a lot of artifacts in your museum. Uh, we can always give you a new license down the road. Uh, so you can add modules or increase the capacity at that time. Um, you support all types of digital objects. Can clients see large maps or diagrams properly on an iPad or a smartphone? Uh, yes, um, Eloquent uses server-side software that lets you pan around the image and zoom in and out to read the finest detail. Uh, can you show me how to search an Eloquent Museum database? Well, you can click on Clients uh, in the menu bar. It takes you to our, our customer sites, uh, some that are available to the public. Is this a map of all your customers? Uh, yes, a lot of them. Uh, the map shows their names as well as their location if you go to full screen. But uh, how do I search? Uh, you could click on any of the customer databases in this list. They may look different, but the searching process is similar. Uh, click on Seaport Museum. It contains archives as well as museum artifacts. This looks like Bay website? It, does. In fact, it is their uh, header and footer for their website. We custom tailor every uh, public search to integrate with the customer's website. But you are now in the Seaport database and ready to search. Is there anything specific you want to find? How do I get an overview of what they have? Well, uh, you could click on uh, material, the material type drop-down. This is an interesting variety of material. Yes, um, uh, they are. Uh, but you'll notice that most of them are types of, art of, of archives, and only a few of them relate to artifacts. Um, I have my eye on these featured collections. Who created them? Well, the customer searches the database and saves selected items to a list. Uh, the list is then connected to an attractive image like the ones you see here. Go ahead and click on one of them. Um, I want to know more about this type of boat. Uh, well, you can read all about it uh, and uh, either go up uh, to the broader group, uh, smaller uh, sm small craft plans, or go down to one of the items within this sub-series. 
this is interesting. How could I use these social media icons? Uh, if you click on them, you automatically send the link of this page to your friends. When they click on it, they'll be in this page and uh, can search for everything in the database. They can even change the language. That's easy. One of my friends is Chinese. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's good. Uh, do you want to see anything else? Does Elegant support any classification systems? Uh, yes, a wide variety of them. I'll open that other link I sent you earlier and I'll show you one. This link? Uh, yes, uh, this entry form shows all the data that can be entered uh, for your uh, museum artifacts. Uh, click on the Find button beside Classification. Oh, this looks familiar. Uh, just work your way down one of the categories. Uh, could I pick a bedroom suite? Uh, sure, just tag and take. That was easy. Yes, uh, this is a, a very long entry form. You can jump down by clicking uh, the section names on the left-hand side. Note that a lot of prompts are in groups of three. Uh, that's not a limitation. They'll expand as necessary. Okay. And notice that uh, some of these prompts you simply select from a, a table of options. You see the Find button there. There's a separate uh, table for your storage locations. So you just uh, link uh, the artifact to the right place. And notice uh, while you're on the screen that you can enter either metric or imperial measurements. You enter one and the other is automatically calculated. Nice. Yeah, just click forward. We'll go over these fairly quick, quickly. And this uh, seems to cover everything. How do I get started? Well, simply contact our technical support people. Uh, go back to the Eloquent website. Here? Yes, and make a call uh, to the 800 number or uh, click on contact us. Okay. Uh, just send off this form and someone will get right back to you. Sounds great. Many thanks for the overview. Now I understand why Eloquence software is so popular. Well, thank you for con contacting us and have a good day. You too. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.